story to tell you. I talked a little bit about it last video, but I'll tell you about it right now. You guys get eaten here. What? You guys better get eaten. You guys better get eaten here. You guys better get eaten here. Alright, I get it up here. Right. So, this is a tale of all tales. It's not a tall tale, but it's pretty wild. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm right here, buddy. I'm right here. I'm right here. Where you come back? What have you been doing? What have you been doing? What? 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 That's my boy. What? What? I think this is boy. Hey, cut up. Cut. Out. Out. Yeah, this is one of the big males. Now, there's five males here, one female. So now, these are miracle dogs. Here's what happened. Luna whelped first. Well, actually, Anya whelped first. All right, you can eat right here. Anya whelped first. Then Luna whelped, and a week later, Vida whelps. Vida and Luna are sisters. Anya is a Jantan, Swedish Elkhorn, these two are Norwegian. So what happens is, Vida milks so heavy that her bag got hard. The little guys that she had couldn't take it all. And so she was in an overproduction mode. Nope. And she could not slow down production and they couldn't eat fast enough. So her bag got harder and harder and harder and got quite hard. Pretty soon the pups couldn't get any milk out. So I was in a bit of a bind, but because these females are so focused on the handler, I took all the pups from Vida and I put them on Luna. And Luna was nursing them all. Now, I'll tell you that's no small feat to just bring in brand new litter to a female who's a week old. Her, her pups are weak old. Bada, settle down. Now, I took all of Bada, or Luna's away, walked them around, put them in the Bada. Now, they were a week old, so they were big. Just settle down, Bada. 
I'm talking Luna right now. I'm doing a video with Luna. So they were a week old, so they could handle the milk production. Now they couldn't quite take it all out. So I went and got some big ones out of Anya's and put them in with Vada. I left all of these guys on Luna and she just cared for these guys now. It was like Groundhog Day for her because she woke up and she says, Wow, I had bigger pups than this. I, uh, these, these are just little. And uh, she says, I, I've got to start all over. <laughs> so Luna had to start all over. So Luna is actually going to be milking longer than Vida is. But Vida was well way later, six days later. Luna gets all the choice cuts. They all get choice cuts, but Luna gets her pick. She can have whatever she likes. So anyway, what a miracle that I had two sisters that would accept pups from the other one while losing the whole litter. Their whole litter goes to the other female. Hers all comes back here. It's like a game of chess or something. I don't know. I don't play chess, but... Pretty wild anyway. And Anya helping out because her big boys had to go in and really milk out Vida for three days. So Anya was good enough to let me take her pups, put them on Vida, then bring them back, take three more, let them milk for a day, take them back, take three more. Vida has eight. Seven males, one female. So they were, they were milking heavy, helping Vida out. So what they did is they saved the bag on Vida. Because Vida could have ended up in a real bind. But they saved the bag. And Luna saved the day by taking all these rascals from, from Vida. These guys are almost as big as the other litter. They're, they're all big. They're growing fast. So these are exceptional dogs. Now, they're genetically connected, Luna and Vida, so the tissues, the cells, all the, all the reconstruction of these dogs through the milk, through the cell building, is all identical anyway because they're pretty much related. But, uh, of course, there's a, there's a little bit extra there because uh, Vida and Luna have different mothers. But that's okay. So these pups are a combination of a lot of genetics. <laughs> They're like super dogs. <laughs> so it's kind of fun. So what a story, right? The, I mean, uh, everybody kind of knows, I know, I know, that I'm pretty blessed with my dogs, of course. I have uh, more luck than anybody. But that was being pretty blessed. Now because I had to do so much work with the females and the pups and moving everything and it was a no doubt a bit, uh, a bit of a challenge. Anya, as soon as I come in and start working with the pups, she's a little bit back to her rider a little bit earlier. They, uh, they all know that hey, so Anya, I'm doing a video. Anya, Anya, I'm doing a video. I'm over in Luna's bed. Settle down. So they know something's up. And they're all watching each other, like helping each other and keeping an eye on things. I mean, for a female to just have her whole litter just get moved to another pen is very wild. And to have a brand new one just show up in minutes is like wild again. So, really pays to have a bond with the females and have the females trust what I'm doing. I mean, for them to see me take their pups and walk out, they're like, wow, that's, that's just very wild. And then to come back with a completely different pup, it's just insane. So, pretty crazy, no doubt about it. But they're good, boy. They're good. They're really good. So, yeah. That's okay. You're all right, girl. You're all right. What a good girl.
You better get up by me, buddy. Well, I didn't mean to move you there, but I don't know. I didn't, I was just talking to this guy. I was talking to this guy. I was talking to this big fella. Nick, quit stepping on him. You better come and see me, mister. Oh, Jesus, you're fat. Holy cow. Wow. 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 Oh my goodness. So one of these is Luna's and I would have to say it's this one right here. I might have to do a DNA test to find out, but I'll know the minute they get a little older. Yes, you're it. You're about it. You're about it. I can tell. I can tell. You guys are bad. You guys are bad. So yeah, I've handled these dogs so much that they're they're just locked on to me already. It's quite fascinating. Look at this guy. I don't he's not, I don't even know how old this guy is, but he's not very old. He's walking right up to me. That's a bad boy right there. Unbelievable. Maybe that's the female. Let me check. Is that the female? Let me just check. No, nope, another male. Jesus, you're a good boy. Oh, Jesus. I don't know who the female is. Obviously. Jesus, you're a good boy. Wow. So, yeah, Luna did a real favor to her sister, boy. Oh, my God. Helped her out because when them bags swell up hard, it can actually wreck the female. It, uh, it wrecks her bag, is what happens. But uh, she saved it by taking the little guys and letting letting uh, the big guys go. She sacrificed her own litter for the good of the pack. <laughs> But it'll be funny, because uh, at, at the early stages, I had 11. I had 11 on uh, Luna at times. And then uh, when I let them all out, I'll, all these guys will go out at the same time. And they'll all nurse together. And they'll be pulling every inch of milk out of her, run over the Vita, clean her up, run over to Anya. It'd be wild. Anya's gonna be dried up by the time these are outside though. Anya's got eight, eating like a wolf. Yeah. There's not a stray rabbit, stray turkey, nothing left. She catches them all. She told her you better start hunting and bringing it back. So he's catching rabbits, holy god. He's the only gem thunder in the world can run down full grown snowshoe hair and grab them. That's how agile he is. And brings it back. Yeah. Pretty amazing. Yeah. Possible. He's supposed to be catching them because it's his litter. But it's Ark. Ark's the brother of the Anya litter. But Possible is not quite agile enough yet. Ark is ultra agile. So he can catch them. Yeah. So yeah, this is a miracle litter. Both letters miracle. The whole thing is a miracle. Yeah, yeah. Good. 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 That's good. 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 So I've had my hands full. I haven't been able to get video done before now. But uh, we're doing video now. You guys better get back in here, boy. You better get back in here. I better get by me here. Let me take it off. But, but. So yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, Luna's mother is Tecla. And Tecla's daughter was just weaned. And I have her, her name is Varja. She's outside. She's getting pregnant.
Hey, Vada, relax. See, Vada knows I'm working with pups, so she's... You can see how, how they're all in sync. It's all right. It's okay. It's okay. Just chill out there, but it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty amazing. They actually know who's is who yet, which is phenomenal. Yeah. So yeah. This is a. Just the wildest thing is here. Got it? You've got to settle down a little bit. Right, right. So Luna's done really good nursing these guys. They've caught right up. Yeah, phenomenal, really. You better sit down. You come to the corner and sit down. Don't be taking off there, buddy. are all crew pups. So Luna's aunt, Tuba, Tecla's sister, she's, she's, hey, on you, settle down. She's bred to Karu. I haven't seen a belly yet, but she's eaten like she's bred. And Leda is bred. Can you believe that prolific letter? Day, bef day before Gustav leaves at 16 weeks in a day, letter cycles. Is that amazing or what? Eh? Now that's a prolific female. You better come by me, buddy. You all better get up here. Is this a female? No, it must be a male. You're a big male, big boy. But, so yeah, that lead is prolific. Oh my goodness. So she'll have a litter in about 50 days. But, you better get down here and get eaten, baby. You better get in there. Look at this guy, just like big walrus. Just like big <coughs> walrus. Wow. Yeah, amazing group of pups. Well, that's a pretty good video, Luna. Good job. Good job. So yeah, I'll get this process and get it pushing up too tonight. And uh, everybody be able to see both pups. You couldn't tell the pups apart. I mean, I can't. So, it's impossible. It's impossible. They're pretty much identical. Well, even the mothers. <laughs> they can barely tell the part. <laughs> they think this is theirs. <laughs> they're good. Oh, they're good. Yeah, it's a dream to have females this good. Save the day for Vada. Yeah. Oh, but if she'd have had some hard bag, let me tell you. Good? Good? That's pretty good. I'm going to go see that on you. Good? Good, Luna. Good job. <laughs> 